Just checking his eyes out a little bit. Thankfully, it was a glancing blow. I said, thankfully, it was a glancing blow. Can't really, can't really see much else on it. So he got knocked over, but he didn't get knocked out. But you could definitely tell that he was uh, very much embarrassed about not being the biggest guy in the room. see you're all right there buddy real so Ted Ted decided that whoops careful mom now he's afraid everybody's gonna whack him Ted decided that the horse at one of the places we went to visit was gonna be safe to walk behind it was not so what happened is uh, we went to a barn that Ted wasn't super familiar with and I think because of his eyesight, he didn't recognize that there was a horse there. And all of a sudden she saw some little tiny thing coming in and she just made one of those little kicks, not to really hit anybody, but just as a warning. And it basically skittered right over the top of his head. So it knocked him over, but didn't knock him out. So I think all I gotta do in the future is just make sure that he, uh, we're just giving him more of a guided tour because I think as he gets older, his eyesight's not that good. His reactions aren't that fast. Uh, that was just bad form on my part. I should have paid more attention to him. But he's fine, as evidenced by the fact that he's beating me home once again. And yes, we put uh, uh, the antibiotic on the... It's only a little tiny cut. So Mary gave him a bath, put antibiotic on it. But we'd also had checked his eyes to make sure, you know, he was pupils were even not dilated anything crazy like that <laughs> making sure obviously that he didn't have an actual head injury he just got knocked down that's it but yeah it absolutely scared the crap out of me hey ted you want some cheese Do I have to bring it to him? oh he just woke up hey ted ted Come on. mom's got cheese for you No, I think he's planning on sleeping through this. I'm coming over, you gotta turn that off. Mom's gonna hand deliver cheese to you. Go ahead, come on. There we go. That's a pain pill. There's your pain pill. Well, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, and just like that, the man's back to normal. But I don't think he's gonna be standing behind horses anymore. Right, buddy? No worse for wear. He's got a little bit of a mark on his noggin where it gave him a little bit of a cut. Not, a, not enough of a cut to have to have stitches or anything like that, but enough to remind him that uh, when you're seven inches tall, you need to watch where you're walking. So the baby got himself a bath. We didn't videotape any of that because I figured that was, uh, it was traumatic enough of a day what he went through to begin with. And uh, you really can't even see the cut that he got. He's got a little gash up here. I'm not gonna touch it. But uh, yeah, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't any of the head trauma things like nauseous or anything like that. You can definitely tell that he, he got the crap knocked out of him. That's for sure. But uh, he's doing pretty good. We're just paying attention to him. I'm keeping an eye on him. I'm not as uh, I'm not as worried about him as I was earlier. It's been probably about two hours since uh, he got clocked. So it's basically like a glancing blow, and the uh, the horse hoof just kind of went boom and gave him a little bit of a gash. It, Mary said it bled pretty bad. I didn't see it until they uh, they got back out from uh, where the horse barn is. He's usually really good about that stuff, but I, I think that uh, he's just not as fast as he used to be, and uh, he zigged when he should have zagged. 